Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to give you a quick introduction to the game of Carble. Uh, it's a really fun game, we play it with our family all the time, and uh, I thought rather than having you memorize all of those uh, crazy instructions, that uh, I would give you a little demonstration of the game so that you can get a feel for how it's played. Um, again, I've included detailed instructions with your game, uh, but I thought I'd give you a little demonstration, make it a little easier, because it does seem like a lot of rules at first. Uh, so just bear with me here, and um, I think you'll really enjoy. Uh, so for starters, I've got uh, the board has two sides. Uh, one side has six room for six players, and the other side has room for four players, and we are on the four-person uh, side today. Um, all of your marbles are in what's called the kitchen. So you got the white kitchen, the green kitchen, the red, the blue. And the goal of the game is to get your marbles from your kitchen to your home spaces. So white is trying to get to white's home spaces there and so forth. Um, to start the round, uh, the dealer will deal each player five cards, which I have already done. Again, you're using two decks of cards. You uh, have to use two decks for this. Uh, so you deal five cards the first round, and when you're playing with four people, remember that you deal five cards again, and then you will deal four cards from that point on. So when you're playing with four players, five, five, then four for the remainder. So let's first take a look at uh, what White has over here. Since White is sitting to the left of the dealer, they get the pleasure of going first. Uh, they've got a seven jack, queen, queen, and ace. And as you know, an ace or a king is what gets you out and into the game. So they're going to play their ace. Whoops. And they're going to move a player out of their kitchen and into their starting position, the orange space there. Now let's see what green's going to be able to do. Green has a king, so they're in good shape. They can get out. Let's take a look at red. Red's in good shape. He's going to play his ace and get out. And now the dealer, blue. Blue has an ace, so blue can get out. So this is where the strategy would begin. Every player has a marble out. Now it's time to decide how you're going to play your cards. So, uh, white doesn't want to use the seven because a seven can put someone back in their kitchen and it can be split between two marbles. So they're going to hold on to this. It wouldn't really be a good idea to use a jack right now either because a jack will swap with someone on the board or move 11. And uh, so the jack doesn't really want to swap with anybody at this point because it would put them in um, a bad position. If white were to swap with blue, they would land on their starting position. And if blue has a king or an ace, they're going to come in and knock them out and put them in their kitchen. So we're just going to, if we're white here, we're just going to throw a queen and move 12. Now it's green's turn. Now green is in a really good spot here. They have a four, and as you recall, a four moves backwards four spaces, and they're going to land on, or back over, whichever, the white one, and put them back in their kitchen. So they're gonna play their four, and move backwards, and take white out. So, poor white, too bad. Now we go over to red and see what red's gonna do. Red has a four as well, so they're going to want to get closer to their home. Instead of having to go all the way around the board, they're going to play their four and back up. Okay. Now let's see what blue's going to do. Blue, blue's probably going to want to back up too. So they're going to use a four and they're going to back up. That puts them in good spot. Now let's see what white's going to do. White is all in kitchen. And uh, they don't have a king or ace, so they are out. They just got to throw in. And now we go back to green. Green can't play either because an eight would put them somewhere around here. 
and you have to have an exact number to get into your home so they can't play either. So they throw in. Now we look at what red's going to do. Red also can't play an 8 or 10 because this is as far as they can go, but they can play their 2. And then they're just going to throw in because they can't play. Now that leaves blue all by themselves. Now blue is in an interesting position here. They can't use, they can use the two if they want to, so let's go ahead and do that. Now they're stuck with an eight and a jack. An eight won't work because it puts them too far in. And a jack is worth 11 or it swaps with someone. So what stinks for them is they're really close to their home but they have to use the jack because they have to play a card if they have one. So we're going to prevent red from getting in. We're going to throw our jack and we're going to swap with red. So we're still not too far away from our home, but we just made red have to go all the way around the board again. And since nobody else can play, eight for blue. Okay, so that gives you a general idea of how the game is played. Uh, the marbles come out of their kitchen onto their ord space. They try to make their way around the board as quickly as they can in hopes that they can end up in their home just like that and win the game. Um, I really hope you enjoy the game. Uh, if you have any questions, look over the instructions I've included. They're pretty thorough uh, and just have fun. Thanks.